out, lad. Sounds like they're already singing. Oh, no. That's different. Pray for the direction of the Spirit. Lead us, Father, to all truth. Oh, God, we pray. Wow, the Holy Spirit is strong in this congregation. Wailing and speaking in tongues is common in Pentecostal worship. They believe it's the Holy Spirit speaking directly through them. In Acts chapter 2 it says, And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in tongues as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Jesus Christ, Come on, lift your hands up toward heaven and magnify it. They're all just chanting and hollering. I mean, this is a whole uproar. This service so far is dark and primal. Then all of a sudden, the lights pop on, the music starts playing, and the energy in the room skyrockets. The songs that they're singing are actually old hymns and made them more upbeat, which I kind of like. It was a welcome upswing from chanting in the dark to this high energy party atmosphere. So here we are, evil days, evil times, wickedness on every hand. In my flesh, I'm not good enough. In your flesh, you're not good enough. We've all died out. Elijah said, I'm the last one, Lord. Nobody else is standing for you. Nobody's declaring this message. But the party didn't last long. When the pastor's sermon started, it was all hellfire and brimstone. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. I understand we all Many have our sins, but his tone makes me feel like God's going to zap us. We've become a dying species. Is and there a listen. promise? Is there hope? I'm not hearing any of that today. We know that our time is at hand. Honey, church membership cannot and will not save you. I imagine the members have been coming here for a long time to be comfortable with this type of message. If you just come in off the street, this might be a little bit unsettling. Somebody fight! Fight, 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 fight! Go in the name of Jesus Christ and he will go with you.